Yeah, I see the title, man. Let's get to it. When it comes to NBA analysts and former players with opinions, there's quite a few of them that I just can't stand. But I gotta be okay, honest, this is what we get none of them this video. make me facepalm as often <laughs> as the former Wizards All-Star oh, Gilbert so Arenas. Uh, as just recently, just he had possibly the most awful take that I've ever heard, and I simply can't ignore it. The one thing I will give him credit for is that when it comes to unpopular basketball opinions, it takes some huge balls to speak your mind this boldly. Speaking of which, I suggest you take care of yours. Which is why today's video is brought to you by Manscaped. Get your money, get your money. Former info just of the handyman from Manscaped. So for those of you who are not in the know, let me quickly provide you with some context. Hakeem Olajuwon is a former NBA legend, and he was a seven-foot superstar who played in the NBA from 1984 until. Oh, I think, I think this is what this video is gonna be about. Is he is he gonna talk about when Gil was talking about something about Hakeem is scamming the uh, the young dudes from the uh, his post moves and all that? <laughs> Cause nah, I see I see the title of the thumbnail. I got it in my watch later. I was gonna react to it, you know what I'm saying? Probably like tomorrow or something. But if this is what he's talking about, there's no need to even react to it. Cause I, I'm pretty sure I know what you're gonna get to. He probably gonna show some clips and all that, man. Let's see if we're correct. Till 2002, Hakeem had a lot of skills on the basketball court, but possibly his greatest skill was his stellar footwork as he utilized it to give him an offensive advantage in his the past. Footwork, I say, to this day, moves. many people oh, believe Hakeem Olajuwon had the greatest footwork of any player who's ever played. Because of this, many active players have sought out Olajuwon long after his retirement, as they look to learn from his teaching and apply it to their game. Now, after all this... Now, I will say this though, bro. Kobe Bryant, I, I've been seeing some great footwork from Kobe, bro. The Mamba got some great uh, footwork, bro. He he definitely, you know what I'm saying, works his way around on on his pivot foot, all that. Does twists and turns, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tough shots, all that, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Kobe's one of the ones I really see utilize that footwork. This time, Hakeem Olajuwon decided to monetize gifted. these private workouts with NBA players and is now charging $50,000 for a week of workouts. Now this is hardly a newsworthy yeah, story, probably, yeah. that is, Tell until you. Gilbert Arenas made it one. <laughs> Take a listen for yourself on what Arenas had to say about Elijah One's 50k training session. I sessions. knew he was going to add clips, man. Come on, man. I've been doing this for a little minute now. I know if they know these, how, 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 um, bro, I'm going to be, uh, doing that video. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh, nobody doing it. Oh, shit, I'm All you old son Stand down. Nobody, nobody want the Hakeem Elijah Wood sky hook. Nobody want the <laughs> Nah, why he do? Why he do? Why nobody want the Hakeem Elijah Wood sky hook? Yeah, bro. Nah, it's the way he... It's the way he move. <laughs> Yo, it's the way he move, bro. This thing is a funny nigga, bro. Look, nobody <laughs> want... No Why are you really put his leg? I like you try to really, really do a hook shot or so. Come on, Gil. Nah, bro. Yo, but come on, man. You, the fundamentals are always useful, bro. Just this, this fight, bro. Uh, uh, being funny and making me laugh, bro. The fundamentals are definitely always useful. You know what I'm saying? Adding to your game is always going to be better than, you know what I'm saying, not adding it. You feel me? So I, like, you know what I'm saying? None of that shit, all right? <laughs> Let it go. 50, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Charging these young whippersnappers 50. <laughs> when you came in the league in 1980, you wasn't getting 50,000 a game. <laughs> you trying to make. No, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Gilbert Reels is a funny dude, bro. You're a funny dude. You're a funny dude. <laughs> Show my young. <laughs> Yourself. Charging these young Yo. whippersnappers. Whippers. <laughs> when you came in the league in 1984, you wasn't getting 50,000 a game. Yo, what? <laughs> you this trying to make your money back through to you. Giannis, no, I'm all for trainers getting their money. <sighs> a week? That you know how many funny. big men with there? Hey, I'm, bl I'm blaming Hakeem Olajuwon for the reason we lost Big Ben. The reason the five men is gone is because they go on the motherfuckers from the 90s and 80s learning their motherfucking booze. No, <laughs> 50,000. 
<laughs> nah, this ain't a funny nigga, bro. I can't. <laughs> Yo. Go back. You get good. Just go back to the basics. Huh? You bro. doing fine, Giannis. That. I'm sorry, Giannis, but I would not let you spend 50000 50000 Come here. i teach you all that. <laughs> look. 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 I got moo, I got moo. I'm still simple. I got moo on top of moves. I don't even know. I got Yo. I got books on top of books on moves. I keep no show. What? For 45 grand, I give you the upgraded version. He ain't been good <laughs> since the 90s. That means all the moves in the 2000. Yeah, no, you bro, don't know, 2010. Bro, nah, let me pause this. But all jokes aside, bro, it's 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 very entertaining. You know, bro, it's very entertaining. <laughs> He's very entertaining, you know what I'm saying? With his takes, how he presents his uh, uh his his takes, you know. But in reality, bro, there's no way you can say, you know what I'm saying, Hakeem Olajuwon's footwork is not useful. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you can say the the, the, the fundamentals, the, the the hook shots from the ninety there's no way you can say that's not uh 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 uh, uh beneficial. You know what I'm saying? I think I uh, said the used the wrong term. I'm a little high, my fault. But yeah, there's no way you can uh, say that's not beneficial to your game. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. He don't know. 2020. He don't know. He don't know. Who the f you gonna do the moves on? Okay. Wow. Where do I even start? Zone. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Where do I even start? <laughs> First off, I see nothing wrong with Akeem no. Olajuwon charging 50 G's for private workouts to learn his footwork. Nah, me neither. Because these niggas is making bill, not billions, my fool. Hundreds of mil. well, some are making hundreds of millions, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They can spend a little one, two for the footwork, you know? Like, it's not, it, it's not like he's charging uh, regular people this price. These are for the NBA players, you know what I'm saying? The, the, preferably the top NBA players who are really, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put in that work, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's pocket change for modern NBA players. Many people, including yours truly, believe that Hakeem had the- I mean, I wouldn't say it's pocket change, <laughs> you know? <laughs> 50,000 is 50,000, regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, well, it's it's fake pockets. I feel you. It's po it's fake pocket change, but you know, pocket change is valuable at that point. You know what I'm saying? So at, when you at that point, you, you know what I'm saying pocket change ain't pocket change no more. You better put your pocket change in the motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? You say your pocket change up, <laughs> nigga. Best like, basketball footwork uh, of any person to ever live. And based Chicago on the fact that all-star like, level what? players keep going to Hakeem for his teaching, tells me that he's pretty good at coaching it. Imagine being so arrogant and so entitled that you think that you should be getting private lessons from someone who is the best in the world at what they're teaching, completely free of charge. Hakeem is simply- Did he say, did he, wait, did, did Gilbert say he should do it for free? I don't think Gilbert say he should do it for free though. I just I think he said he shouldn't be charging fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? And he's really just uh making fun of the old school, basically saying the old school moves ain't gonna work in a new in a new age. That's basically what he's saying. And I don't, I don't even, I'm not even sure that he believes this, you know what I'm saying? He might just be trying to make an entertaining take, you know what I'm saying? Well he might believe it. I don't know. I don't know. Can't be living by the wise motto nowadays, man. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Sure. $50,000 might sound like a lot to you and me, but you have to remember, this is a multimillionaire teaching other multimillionaires how to be better at what makes their millions. That's Fraction. called an it's investment. An investment. <laughs> Most definitely, you investing into your game. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like on the flip side, what Gil is saying is that investment is not worth it. I feel like that's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Gil was all Gil in a in a joking way. He offered a a a, a better investment in in his eyes. You know what I'm saying for forty five. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying in reality, it's not gonna be a better investment because Gil. What can Gil really teach you about some footwork? Gilbert, 
Based on these facts, it's completely reasonable for Hakeem to charge this amount for his private time and energy. Second, I always find it ridiculous how people act like the players from past generations are so far removed from the modern game. I also find it funny that Gilbert acts like Hakeem Olajuwon's skills and moves are so outdated. Yet by the end of his rant, Bruh, it was dumb funny. That's that. That's what made it funny. You acting like that shit really like I'm saying the 1930s or something. You know what I'm saying like bro, the fundamentals work regardless, bro. Tim Duncan, one of the most fundamental players ever. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, bro. The fundamentals gonna work. He's pleading you know for players to give him <laughs> money for his own personal workout sessions. The team's final deal. season in the NBA <laughs> was, was the 2001 to 2002 season, which also happened to be the rookie season for Gilbert Arenas. So not only was Akeem around not that long before Arenas, but some of their careers even slightly overlapped. Yet this mm. clown has the audacity to act like Elijah Wan is some sort of ancient dinosaur with nothing to <laughs> offer. By the but you really say, but honestly though, bro, that was really the end of uh, Hakeem shit though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's really why he's saying that. He's basically saying, you know what I'm saying? Hakeem Prime was in like 94, 95. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's like 10 years removed from his peak in his greatest years. So that's really what he's saying. Like, Hakeem was really a shell of himself. Same logic that Hakeem Olajuwon is outdated and irrelevant, Gilbert Arenas is also outdated and irrelevant. Facts. But here's the thing. That's, that's, why, yo, bro, that's why it's funny. Cause I'm listening to this nigga, he sound like an old head himself. And that's the funniest, that's, that's, he sounds like an old head himself, that's why. <laughs> He's an old head himself making fun of uh, uh, older old heads, like what are you doing bro? Me. Acting like Hakeem's that's skills really are not funny. valuable to this the modern nigga, game is one of the dumbest takes <laughs> I've ever heard. Nigga, oh, and yo, bro, this nigga did the fucking hook shot, acting like a fucking kid, bro. That shit is funny, though. Have we seriously oh, become so okay with legalizing traveling in the NBA that solid footwork is now being considered outdated? Even most <laughs> young fans of modern basketball don't agree with Arenas on his assessment. Because if anything, on, Hakeem it's is foolish. usually the center who is often referred to as ahead of his time. Sure, some modern fans act like Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain would struggle in the modern NBA, but who the hell says that about Hakeem? With his intelligence, his footwork, his mid-range shooting, his quickness, and with his remarkable athleticism, it's completely reasonable to assume that Elijah Wan would have been one of the best players in the league even <laughs> if he played in the modern game. Clearly his nickname, Agent Zero, was on point, as in Zero Brain Cells. I honestly have to wonder, is he really so naive about NBA history that he's mixing up Hakeem Olajuwon with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Because at one point, nah, he's yeah, making he, fun he, of the he idea. He's talking about hook shots, that's what I was thinking, but Hakeem, did Hakeem do a little, I'm pretty sure Hakeem did a little one, two, one, two, little, you say a calm little baby hook sound? I'm pretty sure Hakeem had a little one, two hooks in there too, you know? But... You know. <laughs> Hakeem dominating the game with his sky hook shot. And although Hakeem did have a hook shot in his arsenal, Yo, most bro, of his baskets were variations bro. of face up mid range jumpers that translate perfectly well to fact, the game. I did game. see a lot of those. That's a fact. That's now, a fact. as always, I'm sure there might be some people viewing this video wondering why we should listen to the opinion of this basketball YouTuber versus the opinion of the former NBA superstar. Well, the thing is, that thinking is flawed because it isn't just the opinion of Arenas versus mine, but it's the opinion of Arenas versus the opinions of NBA legends like LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Dwight Howard, and Carmelo Anthony. All of those. Like I said, the, the the top of the top. That's 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 who he's marketing that to. You know what I'm saying the top of the top of the guys in the league right now. If you want to come get this work, fifty bands. <laughs> I feel, bro. Those players who were better Bitch than Arenas thought it was worth their time to get private lessons from the dream in order to improve their game. In the cases of Kobe and LeBron, they sought out those private lessons <laughs> after they had established themselves as MVPs and as an NBA champion. But again, don't listen to me, Kobe, and LeBron. Listen to the former star shot chucker. Nah, bro. I 
Yo, bro, you should not be taking uh, Gilbert Arenas' take seriously, bro. I feel like he just be trying to entertain people, bro. A lot of times it's just entertainment for him. <laughs> he be entertaining. Who shot below bro. league average efficiency from the field and from three throughout his career and never got past the second round <laughs> of the playoffs. He's clearly the wise voice of basketball expertise that you all should listen to. Now listen, normally I don't go at a player or analyst this harshly, but the thing is, Arenas yes. is one oh, of those shit. guys who's extremely disrespectful Tough. to former NBA players. And part of me wonders mm. if he even believes the things he's saying, or if he's saying it just to- I said that, bro. I don't even think he believes it. You know? But he, he, he always be like this with the old, old generation players. This fake one of the first times I really um, seen him be disrespectful towards the- I really just- This is my second- uh video I seen of him actually uh in his little recording space I guess you could say you know yeah bro I, I guess I'm gonna have to keep watching bro, bro. bring this attention to old himself I, I don't if that's that. the if that's case that shit, then he certainly succeeded like, on, on that bro. front but the that's reality the, uh, is if a former like, player <laughs> is gonna be saying some I dumb stuff that. because he's a clout seeking clown then you best believe that I'm gonna call him a clown when it's time for me to share my take I'm getting real tired of these disrespectful takes between older players and newer players in both directions. Without the older player- Yo, real shit. Thank you, Uncut. Talk that real shit, for real. Because it, it goes both ways. That shit get annoying. Like, come on. Keep, just keep it objective. Keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? That's what people- People can't keep it a buck. They, they got their feelings attached to the shit. Take your feelings out of it. Look at it from an objective point of view. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's not, like, the ah, game man. isn't as popular as me. it is today, affecting how well modern players are being paid. And without the newer players, all of the legends of the game just become forgotten has-beens from a league that's no longer popular or relevant. This negative energy towards each other is not something the game of basketball needs. But beyond nice. the fact that he's being immensely disrespectful, he's also just flat out wrong on this take about Hakeem. And honestly, I think most of you guys in the comments will probably agree as well, whether you're young or old. Well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe it's just the time I'm listening. It's like 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'm high as shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I took that very lightheartedly. Like, I wasn't taking it that too serious. Like, you know, I'm in a good mood as well. So, yeah, bro, it was very funny for me. You know what I'm saying? Just to see... Gilbert Arenas, and he take an old dude, an older guy, in like his 40s or 30s or something like that, you know and saying, <laughs> like, acting a fool, like, that's fake, he doing fake impersonations, like, how, how streamers be doing this shit, like, that's type of shit my generation be doing, like, you know, that shit was funny to see this nigga do that type of shit, but, yeah, but I feel like Gilbert Arenas is just an entertainment type of uh, analyst, he not really here to give good information or factual information. He here to entertain the audience and, and build up attention for clicks, views, and money. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But I don't blame him for that. You know what I'm saying? Get your bag. Do what you got to do to support your family, my brother. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't to do click on the last reaction. Comment down below how you feel. I know a lot of y'all probably not even going to like how <laughs> Kill was talking in this joint. You know what I'm saying, but that joint was funny to me. I can't, I can't lie. You know what I'm saying, I keep it a buck with you every time. I can't lie. I'm not gonna. You know what I'm saying, I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> this nigga was funny as shit right there. But yeah, man, I'm out of here. Tired of this shit, man.